Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to American Truck Simulator. My name is Moose78. Hope you guys are doing well. And today I'm going to do my first mod spotlight video, but this one's going to be a little bit different because this is going to be a mod preview. And I say that because this truck is still a work in progress. It is still in the beta state. So as we go through and look at it today, keep that in the back of your mind. So any issues you may see, just know that it will be fixed before the truck is completely released. And since this truck is, you know, as I just said, is a work in progress, it's in the beta state, there is no download link available. But uh, this is the Mac Pinnacle by Robert. Link for his channel will be down below in the video description. Uh, be sure to check him out, show him a lot of support, a lot of love. He has done a lot of great things and continues to do a lot of great things for the truck sim community. So go there, show him some support. But uh, about a week or so ago, he sent me an updated beta version of this, and that's what we're going to take a look at today. But if you remember a couple weeks back, I used this video in one of my Let's Play videos. But I really didn't showcase it a whole lot as far as the features and things like that that he's done with it. Uh, so that's what we're going to do today. So let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And one of the first things I want to take a look at are the chassis options. And because this, I think, is probably one of my favorite variants of this truck. I love that it has the single axle, or as some people call it, the single screw. I think this will be great for doing city deliveries, local runs, you know, short runs, things like that. I think it'll look really good pulling pup trailers. So I can't wait to see what people do with this. But uh, we'll just go ahead and go over the chassis options since we're already in this menu. It's got the standard, you know, day cab option if you guys want to use that. And it's got your standard sleeper option, which is a little bit longer of a wheelbase. Then you got the shorter one. This is the one that I like to use quite a bit. And also, if you want to do some heavy hauling and stuff like that with a big old Mac, you are certainly going to be able to do that with the lift axle, all that good stuff. But uh, let's go ahead and go back to this option right here. And we'll take a look at the cab options. Of course, the day cab, which we see here. The flat top sleeper. It's good to see... Uh, see some more flat top trucks in the game and you even have a uh, shorter flat top sleeper which is really cool to have you know, two flat top options then you got the mid roof sleeper and then the big old pinnacle sleeper this is my favorite variant uh, it's the one I used a couple weeks ago it's got the big stand-up sleeper all sorts of room but uh, today we are gonna start out by looking at the mid roof sleeper and we already looked at all the chassis options available engine options there are a ton of mac engines in this thing always you know starts out at 325 horsepower econodyne all the way down to a 605 horsepower maxi cruise I'll just kind of scroll through that real quick you guys want to take a look at that just a ton of different options for all your mac engine needs but uh, we'll go ahead and we'll go with the Maxidyne 555 horsepower. And there's also several different Mac transmissions. Which I think is really cool. He's done a really good job of getting different engines and everything set up for this. Uh, I'm going to go with an Eaton Fuller 18 speed just because that's what I have set up in my game. So I can use the SKRS and 18 speed transmissions. But you can choose whatever option you want there. Now the interior, right now there's only the one option, but I think he's done a really good job with this interior. I like how there's an actual uh, shifter included there. I think that's a really nice touch, at least for me personally, it kind of helps with that immersion factor. And then this right here tops it all off. You got a real sweet looking Cobra CB radio in there. And for the paint jobs, you are going to have several different options for uh, skins and everything like that. Right now, there's nothing on there, but again, like I said, this is a beta. It's still a work in progress, so just kind of be patient with that. But we'll go ahead and we'll throw a custom metallic color on this. So let's go with a red metallic, because that looks really good. There we go. You know, they always say the red ones are faster, so there you go. Then we'll go into the accessory options and we'll start with the bumper. I like this setup right here a lot. I think it looks really good, looks really clean. You just got your standard bumper, then a gray bumper, 
nice big old chrome bumper. So pretty much options for anything you're going to need there. You know, if you're wanting like a completely, you know, just stock fleet truck, you'd want to go with something like that. But we're going to go with this one right here. Uh, tank options, it looks like there are going to be some options for fuel tanks right now. There's just the one, but that's okay. Then for the chassis fairings, you have just a stock one right here, or you can go with a stock gray. Again, if you were going to go for that, you know, kind of stock, you know, fleet truck look, that's kind of what you'd want to go with. I'm going to swap that out. And I'm actually going to go with the full chassis fairings just to give it that full aero look. I think this looks really good. For the visor, you got a chrome one, and you got your stock one. We'll go with the stock one. For your mirrors, you got a few different options. You got the chrome ones. Then you got, you know, kind of your classic mirrors. A big little mirror there and the spot mirror down there. We'll just go with the stock ones for right now. There are options for uh, roof lights. I'm just going to go ahead and go with the Lumen Mark 1s. Put five of those on there. Just gives it a nice, nice touch. Then for the exhaust, there's only one exhaust option now. These are just different positions. You can see there, we wouldn't want that. We, of course, wouldn't want that. So we'll go with that one right there. That's going to fit our sleeper perfectly. Then if you go up here, there's a roof deflector, which that just adds the uh, fairing up top and on the sides and just kind of completes that aero truck look for the mid roof. And I think this looks really, really good. Come back here to the mud flaps. You've got some options there as well. And you got your standard Mac mud flaps. I'm going to go with those. I just think those, you know, are, those are my favorite. So that's just kind of a personal preference. And we'll get the wheels changed out here. And I'll go ahead and use the Alcoa's off of the Viper 389 just for the sake of this video. There they are. There we go. Get the wheels changed out back here. Let's put the standard ones on the drives. And there we go. Just a really good, clean looking aero truck. And I think the thing I love about it most is the fact that it's one, not a Peterbilt, two, not a Kenworth, because while there are a lot of good, you know, Pete's and Kenworths out there, I think the community is kind of oversaturated with those trucks right now. So it's good to see different manufacturers in the game. Hopefully SES can get on board with that soon and uh, get some licenses and stuff uh, figured out and we can get some different manufacturers in the game. But uh, definitely love that the modding community is kind of stepping up and uh, getting some different stuff out there for us. So there that is. Let's go ahead and take a look at the interior. Now I do like the fact that you can change out the wheels with all the uh, SEI wheels. But you have a couple different uh, Mac wheels. You got that one, and you just got a black version of that. And of course, you can just go through and pick whatever one suits you. I've been using this one quite a bit here lately. And then you can also put uh, your knobs on there as well. So that's kind of cool. But, uh, let's go ahead. We will trade in our current truck and we'll hop outside, take a look at it, 
and the open world and take a listen to it as well. All right. Let's hop out in the exterior view here. Fire this thing up. Alright, so let's hop out here in the exterior view, fire this thing up, and uh, see how she sounds. Sounds pretty good. Great sound and air horn. Hop inside. Take a look around there. Now, of course, you can still adjust the mirrors and all that stuff. Can't adjust the steering wheel. You know, you can't telescope it or anything like that. I'm not sure if that's something that's going to be included in the final release. But if that's something you wanted to do on your own, that's you know easy enough to do as well. Hop back outside here. Let's go over to the shop and check out a couple other options. All right, back over here in the shop, we will go ahead and we'll switch out sleepers. Let's go ahead and go with the flat top sleeper. And we'll kind of leave the same uh, options on here right now, the fairings and all that stuff. And we can add beacons to this as well, you can see there. So that'll come into play once you're doing your heavy haul stuff and all that. That just looks really good though. Go ahead, change out the paint job, get our metallic red back. There we go. Again, just looks really good. I'm really impressed with uh, what he's done with this so far. And again, just cannot wait until the full release. I will definitely be using this truck, for sure. And I will actually uh, be using this uh, later on this week. Um, I'm gonna upload another gameplay video featuring the Mac Pinnacle. Uh, that'll probably go up tomorrow, so be sure to check that out. And we will go ahead and we'll just take a look at the shorter sleeper there. You know, nothing too different from the last one, just shorter sleeper. And the Pinnacle Sleeper, let's take a look at that. Throw on all our arrow stuff and get our red metallic back. Now, like I said, this is probably my favorite variant, uh, at least till I started doing this video. I think I like the midroof a whole lot better now just because you can add the air horns, you can add custom roof lights. So I definitely think the mid roof uh, is going to be my go to for this truck, but I do like this one a lot as well. It's just that nice, clean, aero looking truck. Let's hop back in, take a look at a couple more options. Let's actually, let's go ahead and let's just go with the stock. Let's see, let's take that off as well. Looks pretty good, nice and clean. But yeah, that is the Mac Pinnacle, guys. Hope you liked today's video. But that's going to wrap it up for today, guys. Hopefully you liked the preview of the Mac Pinnacle. If so, just give it a like and a share. It just helps me out a bunch, helps the channel grow. 
and be sure to check out robert's channel again that is down in the video description the link to his channel go over show him some support as well but as always guys thanks for watching thanks for hanging out thanks for supporting i really do appreciate each and every one of you until the next video guys stay safe out there take care and we'll be seeing you